All right, let's look at this lesson. Uh, this is going to be like a chromatic type speed picking lick or a single note lick. Uh, what I'm going to show you is I, I did it out of out of the key of G, C, and D. Just played it over each chord just to let you hear what it sound like. Uh, I'm just going to teach it out of the G position, which is here at the eighth fret. So if we go to the eighth fret and you press your B pedal down. And your ED flat knee lever, you would have uh, in play just about any any of those major groups. You know, like 10, 8, 6, 5, 4, 3. You have a G seventh. A G seventh chord there. So this lick is playing over a G seventh, a G ninth, that type of chord. Not necessarily over a G major chord. Also, if you enjoyed this video, then make sure to go ahead and press the like and subscribe buttons. You can also join the channel to receive early access to our videos by pressing the join button below. There is a tab and backing track available for this lesson. You can get those as well as around 80 others and other benefits by clicking the card or the link in the description for our patron site. Now, I'll play the first part of it, then talk it out to you. So we're starting here at the eighth fret. So we're playing out of that position, which would be our B pedal ED flat knee lever for a G chord here, or G seventh chord. It starts out like this. Okay, so you play your second string at the seventh fret, slide it to the eighth. You have your B pedal down and you play five, six. Now the fingering over here on the picking hands up to you. Okay, so that's the first part. B pedal is already down. You play your second string at the seventh, slide it to eight, then play f fifth string, sixth string. Okay, then I do a triplet. My B pedal is still down. I play five, six, seven. Okay, I've talked uh, some previous lessons on that, but you're picking uh, middle finger on five, thumb, thumb, five, six, seven. I do pick blocking, so I'm blocking that fifth and sixth string with this middle finger. And Jacob's got a good view of my right hand. Okay, so now we have this. Okay, let's go ahead and put our F knee lever in, E to F knee lever. We're gonna play six with the pedal still in, then release it, our B pedal is still on six. Play seven, eight with the F knee lever in. Okay. That part again, after you do the triplet, which is five, six, seven. You pick six with the B pedal still in, release it, play seven, play eight with the F knee lever in, then release the F knee lever. Okay, then I pick my ninth string at the eighth fret, slide it up at the 10th, then I pick my sixth string at the tenth. Then I, uh, that part is like, so I pick nine at the eighth fret, nine at the tenth, pick six here at the tenth. I go back and start that first part again. I pick nine at the eighth, nine at the ninth fret, Go back to my fifth fret and pick five. Okay, so now I've got this.
Okay, now I've got a couple of beats left on that chord, so I'm simply going to play 6, 9 at the 8th fret, slide it to the 9th, 8th fret, 9th fret. Okay, so now we've got this. playing over any of those G seventh chords. Now the next chord in the progression is C. It's a C seven. I'm not gonna talk it out, but it starts at the 13th fret. So you slide from the 12th fret to the 13th, play the rest of it. Because if you play B pedal, E, D, flat, knee lever here to 13th, you've got a C7, which is what we're playing over. The last chord in progression is a D7. You play that here at the third fret. Okay, so you play it over a G7. Played over a C seventh here at the thirteenth. Then you played over a D seventh here at the third fret. And it ends in G. Hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, like I said, it's just a little different. And the chromatic, what I'm talking about chromatics is, is like. You know, you're playing, you're just going right down the scale. And, and a lot of times in those. You can take these licks and break them down and get, you know, get parts of them out and get your own licks out of that. So take them, you know, even that first part. That's how you come up with your own licks. Just take those and, and break them down and analyze them. So hopefully you, you know, I showed you how you can use it. It works real well over those chords. And just keep in mind it's working over a seventh, a ninth, a thirteenth, some kind of G altered chord. It's not just a regular straight up G major chord. All right, so give this one a try and let me know what you think about it in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video and Jake and I want to thank you for watching and we'd like to take this time to thank our supporters 
and especially our Tier 3 supporter on Patreon, Robert Crawford. Also, if you enjoyed this video, then make sure to go ahead and press the like and subscribe buttons. You can also join the channel to receive early access to our videos by pressing the join button below. There is a tab and backing track available for this lesson. You can get those as well as around 80 others and other benefits by clicking the card or the link in the description for our patron site. So as always, keep picking.